This is part three of my uh, Buck River uh, modified custom parmigan. Okay, uh, in this picture here, uh, this is a picture of the uh, non custom version of the Buck River parmigan. Okay, uh, notice the handle shape. It is all standard and uh, made with uh, materials like uh, wood or synthetic like uh, uh, micarta or G10. However, uh, for the custom ptarmigan, it is made with uh, samba stack handles, okay? samba stack material. And uh, this is how uh, some of the other, uh, uh, or rather the original, uh, uh, original custom ptarmigan looks like. Okay, as you can see, this is the crown of the samba stack antler. Okay. These have uh, uh, rough uh, edges and uh, some of the edge uh, can be uh, feels quite sharp on the hand when you grip it. Okay. However, it is uh, aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Now, uh, when my knife first came, it looked, uh, the handle looked similar to this. Uh, this is uh, left hand, uh, left hand uh, design. As you can see, um, uh, look at the crown area, which uh, I have highlighted, okay. Uh, this is my left hand. Okay, if I try to grip this uh, knife in the picture, you can see that it will be very comfortable because uh, the rough edges are, uh, will be protruding outwards. Okay, it will not be uh, digging much into my palm. However, if I try to use my right hand to hold uh, this left-handed knife, uh, this crown area of the antler will dig into the palm of my uh, right hand. Um, and also, the contours of this left-handed handle uh, doesn't fit into the palm. As you can see, uh, our human palm has a hollow area, okay? And uh, if your handle is to be ergonomic on the right hand, uh, the handle has to have a concave shape that will fit into the hollow of your palm. However, uh, when it came, uh, it is because it is a left-handed uh, version. Uh, there was when I gripped the knife, uh, it was a convex uh, part that was resting on the hollow of my palm, which is uh, uncomfortable, and uh, the grip is not secure. And on top of that, the crown of the handle would uh, dig into uh, my palm, okay, the flesh of my palm here, and uh, it uh, hurts uh, my palm, okay, it feels pretty sore after a very short uh, use of it. So, uh, what did I do, okay? Uh, I made a diagram okay, uh, to better illustrate. 
previously, okay, when the knife uh, first came, the handle was shaped like this. Uh, as you can see, uh, this part is uh, convex. Okay. However, uh, it became uh, concave. Okay, this part became concave, which is uh, not suitable uh, for uh, the grip of the right hand. And this convex area over here now will suit the left hand very well. This part would fit into the hollow of uh, the left hand, the hollow of the palm on the left hand. So, uh, this is a left-handed uh, design. And also, uh, notice the crown. It was uh, diagonal in this, in this way. So, when my fingers were wrapped around the handle, when my, uh, the fingers of my right hand, okay, this area, uh, it did not offer much grip. Uh, I could only put about three fingers here and uh, one finger had to come here. And the crown is very, uh, uh, makes the grip very, very uncomfortable. Okay, so uh, what I did was uh, to modify the handle to make it into a, a right-handed handle. First, I observe the shape of the handle, which is such. And I realize that uh, the starting part of uh, the handle uh, has a slight convex. Okay, which is uh, suitable for right-handed grip. When I remove the concave part, uh, it would become a right-handed handle. So I thought, because uh, this part here is convex to fill the hollow of my palm. And this part here is uh, straight or slightly convex, uh, concave, I mean. Uh, so, if I chop off part of the handle, I will end up with this handle shape, which is now a right-handed uh, grip. So, I proceeded. Uh, on my modification. How did I do it? I used uh, simple tools. Uh, this uh, very small uh, hand saw that I found in my toolbox and uh, some uh, rough grit sandpaper. Uh, my time is running out, so um, I will show you how I modified the handle, the Samba stack handle, with uh, some primitive tools in part 3. Thank you very much.